Hello folks, I'm Endymion for the Dark at Arms, etc. I haven't done an unboxing in a while, and these are usually not good performers, but I feel like this is a pretty special, pretty special one. Uh, got a big box, big box. Uh, got a one day delay on this, and I'll get to why this is special in a hot second. I'm trying to angle this so that y'all can see without seeing my IRL name. And I know exactly what this is. Because... Ah! Because I'm incompetent. I know exactly what this is because I am the fool. Package. <laughs> <laughs> Open up this. I've got. Oh, oh. There goes the pocket knife, I think. I've got stickers. I've got receipts. I've got. Wielding the Light of Mars. Which I believe. On. Body. Wielding the Light of Mars, which is the fencing manual by Vadi. You can't really see the art. It's very beautiful. It's absolutely just an exquisite sort of combination of classical and sort of medieval alchemical motifs that I'm familiar with. We also have La Spada Maestra of Damazo. Damazo. Damazo? No, Damazo would be double Z. But we also have the duel, or the flower of arms for single combat, both offensive and defensive, Marozzo. Again, plenty of Italians up in here. And then, of course, we have a very specific excerpt of Marozzo, which that previous one, uh, the duel by Marozzo, is translated by... Jarek Swanger, I believe. And Marozzo's Opera Nova, Book One for Sword and Buckler, is translated here by Tom Leone, native Italian speaker and all that. So, a fairly reliable source. I'm actually going to grab one of my, my little lamp light that I bought. Hold on, give me a sec. That'll make for thrilling fucking content. Just like an empty seat for five seconds. Alright, let me see. I probably should have set this up more intelligently beforehand. But you know, I'm a fallible, weird little guy. And this is what happens when you just spontaneously get the package that you've been waiting for for several weeks. Let me see if I can. And then on. There. Less blinding. So we have Marozzo. We have other Marozzo with the woodcut cover. We've got Damazo. And this is the art that I wanted to show off for this. Body. I want to point out three things. First of all, I love reading. That should be obvious to anyone who is familiar with this channel. I love the act of reading i it's it's been a long long struggle for me to sort of get reacquainted with the literary side of my life um because the public education system fucked me up uh in terms of like actually being able to enjoy literature um but the second thing i want to point out is that 
fencing is not everything in my life. Fencing is the one thing that's unique about me and my family. You know, my sister, my oldest sister is the pretty one, who is also the ambitious one. The next sister is the faithful one, the loyal one. And brilliant, all three of them, and my youngest sister, all three of which are older than me, is the artistic one, the creative one. That leaves me to be the weird one. That's who I've always been, that's what I'll always be. I'm always going to be the freak, I'm always going to be the oddity. And I'm okay with that, so long as I make it my own and I control just how odd I am in the way that actually makes me happy, and fencing makes me happy, reading makes me happy. But I chose these texts because, well, they're a part of my academic career. They, I'm my honors thesis for my undergraduate, which will hopefully later become my master's thesis, focuses a lot on fencing literature. But as a religious anthropologist, as a lover of art, as a musician, as a very, very bad amateur sketch artist or whatever you want to call it, the third thing I want to point out is that I love art, and it is deeply fulfilling. So, with that, I w want to say that I appreciate every view, like, comment, etc. I appreciate, I think, 27, 28 now subscribers? My goodness, there are quite a few of you. That's more people, <laughs> that's more than I know named members of my family, <laughs> to put that in perspective. But thank you. And <sighs> this has been incredibly difficult for me. It's only going to get harder, but I'm going to have a little bit of more fun with this because I get to choose what my essay is about. I get to choose the research, and I've selected this. I've selected these sources because they are accessible, because they are relevant, because they are beautiful pieces, because I've been told that there is beauty in the world, and I choose to search for that beauty in the art and science and practice of fencing, for example. It is just one facet of who I am, and it is the facet that, it's one of the facets that I want to share a great deal on, and that I feel like I can contribute to in the larger conversations in this society of the sword, this historical fencing community that I'm entering into. I don't have religious faith anymore, but I have fencing, so I have community. I have this almost transcendent connection to my heritage. You'll notice I've mentioned quite a few times on the channel I'm very, very proud of my Italian heritage. I'm very proud of my German heritage. That's why I'm looking at the Italian pedagogy. So, thank you. I'm Endymion for the Dork at Arms, etc. I'm the Bookworm, Stormhurt, and yeah. Stay safe, and have a good one, folks.